for over a decade now, I've been studying the human mind and how neural pathways are formed and why people get so stuck. And so I'm often asked to come and help a corporate or a business or a team or an individual uh, to move forward. Whenever they feel stuck, they're like, oh, you know, I don't understand why it is so difficult to move forward. And then I am so excited to jump on board and just show them how incredible their minds are and how easy it is to get unstuck in life. Now, I'm not a big theoretical guy, so I want to show you this in practice. And to do this, I am going to take on a huge challenge. For those of you that haven't followed this, Destin Sander has been taking this backwards bicycle to schools and universities and organizations since 2015 to show them how difficult it is uh, to change a thinking pattern. That once you have a certain way of thinking, it takes a lot of practice to change that thinking pattern. This bicycle is actually so simple. One of Destin's colleagues at work took a bicycle and engineered it in such a way so that when you turn the steering wheel to the left hand side, the front wheel will turn to the right and vice versa. It seems like wherever he takes this bicycle, people just cannot get this right. Dayton explains why. The algorithm that's associated with riding a bike in your brain is just that complicated. Think about it. Downwards force on the pedals, leaning your whole body, pulling and pushing the handlebars, gyroscopic precession in the wheels. Every single force is part of this algorithm. And if you change any one part, it affects the entire control system. I do not make definitive statements that often, but I'm telling you right now, you cannot ride this bicycle. Your brain cannot handle this. He's not the only one though. He started a bit of a craze around the world and even guys like the Mythbusters jumped onto this. Six riders, three tries each, 18 total attempts. How many of those went the full 12 feet? Zero. We're gonna have to call this myth confirmed. It is impossible to ride a reverse bike without a lot of practice. Confirmed? I'm not so sure. I just think these guys don't understand how incredible your mind is. That sure, the reason why people will struggle when they get onto the bicycle is because there's a set uh, thinking pattern. But we can just build new thinking patterns. Doesn't matter how old or how young you are, your brain has the ability to build new neural pathways. So this is going to be my challenge. Over the next three days, I am not going to get on the bicycle. All I'm going to do is I am just going to rewire my own thinking process so that when I get on the bicycle for the very first time, I'll be able to cycle it. I think, in fact, this will take me less than 30 minutes to just change my thinking patterns. So let's give it a go. So I feel I am good to go. Uh, when I close my eyes, uh, some of the thinking just happens automatically, which, tell, which tells me, uh, if I don't have to do it consciously, that it actually sits on the subconscious already. So I am just keen to go. There's a lot of tension inside of me. We call it dissonance or cognitive dissonance. And the only way to get rid of this tension now is to get on the Cyclops and try and see what happens. Follow me. Let's just quickly get the distances right. The first distance is 10 feet, and this is what Destin kind of asked people to do. Uh, and then the second one here is 12 feet, and this was the Mythbusters one, all right? The one that they tested over. Now I'm gonna give myself a few more meters just to prove a point. So I always want to do this Mythbuster style. This is the Cyclops first attempt in three, two, one. And that's how you ride a Cyclops. I have to call this myth confirmed. It is impossible to ride a reverse bike without a lot of practice. So myth busted, you can ride a backwards bicycle without any practice on it. I do not make definitive statements that often, but I'm telling you right now, you cannot ride this bicycle. And do you think, yes, I think I can. You might think you can, but you can't. And I can. Your brain cannot handle this. This is where I disagree. Bye. Your brain can work this out. You are more than clever and capable enough.
Think about it. It took me 23 minutes and 33 seconds to rewire my thinking and do what most people claim is impossible to do. Now just think about what you can do. There is no need for you to be stuck in any area of your life. You have the ability to get unstuck continuously. All you need to ask yourself is, what is my next big challenge? And then go for it.